Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you on how we can simply use Zoho Forms. Zoho Forms is a wonderful tool that you can use for collecting data. And now if you don't have an account, there is a link down below in the description. Just click on it and you will get it right here. So first thing first, what you want to do is to add a company name here. Now if you already own the account, guys, completely skip this step, okay? Company name, Sun VLC, email address. I'm going to add a temporary email that I have here. Password, phone number. I'm not going to do it. And I agree and sign up for free. You can add phone number if you want to. That's completely up to you. Now just wait until the account is going to be created. Let's also, maybe we'll get also the email here. But how we can get started, you just click here, let's get started. Now, what to do next is like really simple and to create a form is easy. You can go with a blank form or you can go with the form templates. So you have option to choose between multiple templates that you see here as a client details, complaints, contact us, but we are going to create our own, but I just want to let you know that you're going to have templates here that you can choose and you don't really have to use uh, your own blank form and just create everything like employee evaluation, satisfaction, asset request form, client review, meal order from, see multiple options what you can have. So let's go with the blank form and let's go step by step for name. Let's say YouTube satisfaction. Description satisfaction of people are with YouTube. Now, when you press create here, we are going to build things. So how we can build it and what you can actually do. As you can see, you're going to have some builder rules, settings, themes, share integration approvals. We will go step by step. But first thing first, single lane. So this is the single lane and let's name this field label uh, name. And we can have it medium or small field size. If I'm going to have medium, we can have also large. And as you can see, it's long. So I'm going to make it short. So settings, small, initial value. You can have like what is going to be initial value. Instructions, write your name here. Character limit. Well, you can be whatever value you want. Validation, mandatory. Visibility, you can hide field or disable field. That's completely up to you. Privacy, you can mark it as a personal. And now that's what you can do. And also user input, a mobile apps only, markout or QR code, no. Save. And voila, here I have it. Oh, uh, then what you can have is also let's, let's just like copy, duplicate it. And let's just like rename this uh, name and let's go with, I don't know phone number, number here, and I can click save. And voila, here we ha I have two things here. Now I can go also like email here. And but we need to change it. Like, look at this, I made a mistake. We need to delete this. So I'm not going to hide the field. I'm going to also unhide this one. You can hide it and disable it. I need to delete this thing and I need to add a phone right here. Phone. Now I will add also email and I can press settings here and I can email instruction initial value can be email here, let's say. And you can like edit that. Mandatory validation here, mandatory save. And now when we have the email, you can see you can also a date, drop down, multiple choices, website, file upload, section, slider, description, multi-line, decimal, address, 
time, decision box, radio, checkbox, currency, image upload, page break, rating. So let's say I'm going to add a, add a page break and I would have like second page here. So that's something that you can definitely do if you want to. And now let's go further and let's go with date and time that people choose. Then this is like the, the first step. What I can do also is simply, let's say I want to add a drop down menu here. And now I can simply click on the drop down and here. So first choice, second choice, third choice. So I can go drop down one, two, five. How satisfied are you with YouTube? Field size small. One, two, three. I can add plus four, five. And I can add instruction five is best. Store choice is by extending. Okay, that's good. And mandatory. And click save and well look at this here we have it so how satisfied are you with youtube and uh, people can like then choose it and let's say that this is pretty much it now using these are really simple so if you can have any questions about how we can use it or what you can add let me down below in the comments because like you just take it and you just paste it this was just a simple youtube satisfaction definitely check the templates that you can use it can help you tremendously so next to the builder, we get also rules here. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Before we go basic fields, then we get also advanced fields. Here, you can have payment here. You can also add a formula, signature, image choices, Zoho CRM, terms and conditions. So let's say I can add the terms and conditions and I can add also signature. So I can simply click on the terms and conditions uh, I can edit the, this and paste them right here. Declaration, status of content agreed. And then I can simply click on a signature. Signature instruction mandatory, yes. And then also that's pretty much it. And also terms and conditions are going to be mandatory too. So this is how we can also work with advanced fields. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And let's go further for the rules. Now, configure the rules to show or hide fields based on the input of another field. So these are the rules that you can use also for form or let's say field rules, configure now. And look at this. This is uh, juicy stuff that maybe it will be helpful to you, maybe no. If it's not going to help, we'll just completely skip this. So if any of the of these name is or like let's say if email or like if one to five is five show and then we would have terms and conditions and signature so if someone is going to press five then this will appear the best best thing so rule number one and we click add here this would be the first rule i can simply add the form rules and again if any phone is zero redirect to assign task send email so as you can see if let's say if one to five is one and also That's pretty much it. Redirect to, send email, and then from to email address, to like solve it or assign a task, send SMS, SMS push notification to mobile. Then we have a page rules here, and then need to be like free rules, but this is pretty much it, how we can work with rules. And then let's go next to the settings. Here you have like settings for your forms as form header, text direction, date and time, resident location, disabled, advanced settings, changing the favicon. 
redirect, save and resume, double opt-in, form spam. So PDF settings here. You see plenty of notifications, tasks, and this is pretty much it how we do it. And this is how we can like use it for the settings menu. And I don't know really what to show you here because like these things are pretty straightforward for notifications and for your form. Then next to the settings, we have themes here. Themes, that's something how it's actually gonna look like. So you're gonna have the themes gallery. Let's say I want this one here, the paper. And that's the one we are going to use. So that's how it look like. But you got plenty of templates. Then you can also, I'm going to verify the email now. To, to have it. I'm going to refresh it and well, we got it here. So you can share it with easily right here. And I can go to incognito mode and look at this name, phone, email, date and time. One to five. So that's how we do it. And you can simply just write phone number, email here, etc. But look at this. If, if this is going to be five, look at this. The signature in terms and condition appeared. Now I can simply write it right here and submit, accept and fill it out. So Marcus phone email gmail.com today and submit. Thank you. Response has been submitted. And now we got the first submission. Then you can also find integrations here. You can integrate it with those CRM and other tools. But of course, guys, with the share, you can have amped here. You can email campaign it, track entries. Uh, you can share with specific users, all users or public. Then approval. So these are the approvals that you can have. And this is pretty much it, how you can use the forms. Now, when we go back um, and what you can actually find here, is my forms, shared forms, etc. When I would click here on it, I would always see the form, how it looks like. I can add the settings. I can click here on reports. Or I can simply click on analytics and audit. I can edit it. I can mail it. I can share it. See? So I can email it, the notification somewhere. And that's pretty much it, how we do it. You can really play around it as much as you want. You can enable it or disable, you can see the storage usage. But the next thing that I want to show you are analytics. Analytics and also settings and reports. So I would click on analytics right here. And then just wait until it loads. And this is where you can find like your analytics. So the first part was the most important one. What you can actually find, how it actually works. And that's how we do it. So I can go to reports, new report, report name, analytics, Select form, YouTube satisfaction. Entries, and you can always find the entries right here. So this is still loading for some reason. But what you can do is to simply create a form and entries and you would find all the entries right here that people filled. You can export it. You can see the builder right here. Auto filler, and this is pretty much how we use it. So this is where you can find your entries of people. You can also now next to the delete, you see assign task. 
if you're gonna have like upgraded uh, account you can do it and then approvals and you can share it the reports see and this is the report i don't know how this is like gdpr friendly by the way but <laughs> it's all right i guess so this is how you do it and this is how you can use zoho form this was a zoho form tutorial zoho form beginner's guide how to use zoho forms if you can have any questions guys ask me down in the comments i'll be really happy to help and provide you some guidance and yeah have a great day and goodbye see ya